YouTube, we're updating the Kraken project. Right here, I have the Kraken 2.0. We're gonna show you the 1.0, 2.0, and then we just hatched another clutch from the same pairing as this, the Kraken 2.0. So let's dive in and look at how these update and then the new babies. So we're gonna start with the Kraken 1.0, and this is the original animal that just absolutely shocked us and shocked YouTube. You guys were on board with this exciting project trying to figure out what is in this amazing animal that looks like an actual Kraken. Okay, so this animal absolutely shocked us because it has this amazing kind of gray wash, but then these little kind of bronze, I, looked like, I thought they looked like tentacles because like little sucker pads all over it. And I could not believe this animal came out of the pairing. And to this day, we're still growing her up. That first clutch of them, we had two amazing snakes. This one, and then the one we called the Aussie snake, which we'll show you that one in a second. So when it hatched, we didn't even know some of the simple facts. We didn't even know that Wookiee and Spotnose would prove to be allylic, so that it couldn't have both genes. So that information right there, we know now that it's not Spotnose. It can't be Spotnose because it definitely is Wookiee. So my feeling now until we breed it is that it's black pastel, Wookie GHI Mojave, and it could well be yellow belly, but what an amazing animal this is, and uh, just amazing, amazing results. So the other awesome animal we had from the same 1.0 clutch was what we called the Aussie snake. And this snake has really transformed. It was extremely gray with kind of yellow markings, just with the, the lettering, I call it the lettering here on top. But now, since then, the entire thing has a yellow wash that's come in. You can still see a little bit of the letters. <laughs> it says O, Z, Z, and there's a Y right there. So it doesn't say it just perfectly, but I just thought it was just an amazing animal. Again, when we this hash, we did not know that Wookiee and spot nose were allylic. Now, just having hindsight, we can say with a lot of confidence that this animal is spot nose, GHI Mojave yellow belly, but not Wookiee, right? So we, can, we know it can't be both genes. So again, it's turned out amazing. It's a girl, love this coloring that's coming on the sides and just how kind of depth, how much depth there is to the different colors, an amazing animal. So here's an update on the Kraken 2.0. Now this is the male, we actually got a pair of them. This is the male that just really changed again what we thought this project could bring. And I was so amazed to see the dark maroons and reds and just the rusty colors in this animal because the first clutch, Kraken 1.0 clutch, didn't really have any animals like this. But basically I believe this is the same as the 1.0, but it's missing Mojave. And so the Mojave GHI is what creates that kind of blue gray look where if you take the Mojave out, you actually end up with an amazing reaction as well, it's very different. So these sucker pads on here are not as well defined as with Mojave, but again, I love the color. I love this kind of the rusty kind of red so here on the side. Of course, really interesting belly tracks. And we have our first clutch actually coming from this male. He's not been a huge eater, but he has done a little bit of breeding for us already this year. So hopefully we'll find out the genetics on it soon, but what I believe is still the same on this one, that it's black pastel, GHI Wookie Yellow Belly, not Mojave though. Mojave is 1.0 and of course it is a visual clown. All right guys, we have four babies here, all visual clowns from the same pairing as the Kraken 2.0. Let's see if we can crack this mystery and figure out what's in them. So again, when we went to ID these, it was so nice just to immediately know that if it's spot nose, it's not Wookiee, and if it's Wookiee, it's not spot nose. So we got three amazing spot nose clown combos here. So this one is black pastel, GHI, spot nose, yellow belly. Really, really quite cool. It's got some amazing color to it, and GHI and black pastel work very interesting, and of course GHI and spot nose work very interesting. So it's got a very funky pattern to it. These next two are like gunmetal gray. They remind me a lot of the Aussie snake. They seem to be very genetically similar, but yet they don't have quite the same markings on the back, so there's definitely a difference to them. I just love the color of them, that blue-gray look with the nice highlights. So in my opinion, these are GHI Mojave. That gives it that gray color, plus spot nose and yellow belly to kind of give it those high sides. It's possible if it's missing anything, it might be missing yellow belly. But the GHI Mojave, and of course it has to be spot nose or Wookiee right off the bat because that was what was in the dad. But they're really, really cool. So this is the visual that has Wookiee in it instead of spot nose. And I love this animal. We actually hatched an animal that was very similar 
in the first Kraken 2.0 clutch. Um, and that went to a good friend of mine in New York and I really miss it every day. So this is a Wookiee Mojave Black Pastel Yellow Belly, I think. So it's missing the GHI from being the Kraken 2.0 and it really changes the animal a lot. But what I love about this snake is kind of that multi-tone look. It has this really dark kind of gray wash on the top, but then the side patterns and then it just fades into this beautiful light gray, very complicated pattern that just runs down the entire length of the body. A really amazing snake in its simplicity. So we have one insane baby to show you from this clutch, but let's introduce it by showing one of the siblings. So this is a het, but it's an amazing, almost blank GHI Mojave het. So this one, you guys probably think, oh, it looks like a GHI Mojave. Yes, it, it basically is a GHI Mojave. We know it has Wookie because every baby has to have either Wookie or spot nose, and it clearly isn't a spot nose. So we have GHI Mojave Wookie, could be black pastel, could be yellow belly, but what we know is that it's 100% head clown from the clutch. But I show you this animal because we have an amazing paradox animal that hatched right next to it that I'm just so amazed with. Okay guys, so this is the Kraken 2.0, but is it a head or is it a visual? Well, it's right in between, guys, because it is actually a paradox. So we have the, all the genes expressed here in the head, but then the actual clown version coming through. This is the second paradox I've made this year that was very similar to this, because we made one from, if you guys might remember, the Stranger Mahogany Clutch that ended up being a head, but paradox in the head and paradox a little bit in the body. And what an amazing thing. If you're gonna buy a head, of course, we don't know genetically if this is a visual or a head when it comes to actually breeding it. If you're going to buy a hat, how cool is it to have the actual visual recessive kind of peeking through in the background? Okay guys, so for the comments, I want you to tell me, do you like the Kraken 2.0 we made last year, or do you prefer the Paradox version, the best of the hat and the best of the visual all in one? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's where we're at. That's what we've learned so far, and it's nice to every clutch we get, we learn a little bit more about this project more of what to expect and we can't wait to just keep jumping into the next mystery adding another gene and then like resetting the whole thing figuring it out again so it's a year-long process it seems like and uh, i love it so thanks again for the patreons thanks for following us look forward to bringing you another awesome video something a little different next week